This is the most unstoppable pass play in Madden 23. Got it has a glitch route that gets open against any man or zone. And an explosive route that scores against any defense in the game. Break yourself, fool! So if you want to see what explosive play I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm once again showing some plays from my brand new Baltimore Ravens offensive ebook, which to me might be the glitchiest offense in the game. And the plays I'm going to show you today are no different. If you guys want to see more from this offense or more from this playbook in the future, make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. But if you don't want to wait to see more from this or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment, and the ebook will download instantly to your device, or you can have it sent to the email of your choice. The formation I'm going to focus on today is a relatively new and unknown formation to the community as it was first added to the game just last year the formation is the gun normal y off close if you have been following this channel since last year it might look familiar as i did several videos about this formation as it is easily one of my favorite when i'm using the ravens offense they did nerf and patch the way defenses react to a few of the glitchier plays plays like the double slant which last year you could motion out this tight end it would create an easy one play touchdown against cover three but that doesn't work anymore no. And plays like the Y stick dig, which you can motion in this receiver here and put on a streak, and the wheel route will get open immediately against any defense, really. Mm. Now it only works against cover two, which is kind of a bummer. But the play I'm going to show you guys today didn't get nerfed at all. In fact, it might even be better than I remember last year as it scores a one-play touchdown against just about every single defense in the game, and that play is the escape. This play is from my Ravens ebook, but you also find it in the Bills and Chiefs, which are also playbooks I'm going to be making ebooks out of soon, as well as the Commanders, Giants, and Panthers. I'm going to be showing you guys another play as well called the Red Zone Scissors, which is a very similar concept and can be used in the almost the exact same way. This play can be found in the Falcons and Titans. So if you use one of these plays, books you can use this play in a very similar way to start this video i want to first go over the china route that the running back is running this is one of the glitchiest routes in the game as no defense really covers it and your opponent will most likely have to use it to stop it and even if they do it will probably still get open as this route gets open at several points throughout the play whether against man or zone it's really a combination of several routes that can be treated as such you can throw it immediately as he turns up the field and it'll get open kind of like a wheel route does against zone you can also wait until he turns back to the quarterback kind of like a hook route and he will get open against man or zone once again or you can wait till he runs the full route which kind of turns into a zig route from the running back which also once again gets open against any man or zone so while this play is capable of a lot of one play touchdowns against a lot of different types of defenses just remember that you always have the running back to lean on as a check down if the deeper play isn't there or if the pressure gets in too quick the china route is more than a check down though as it really can be used to get all of these other routes open if you lead with this route and hit the running back a few times once your opponent realizes nothing they are calling can cover this route it will get their attention forcing them to use this route which will help get the deeper routes around it open the tight end directly above him is also a very good option in man or zone but the best route is the one that we're going to go over for the one play touchdowns and that is the b or circle route whether on xbox or playstation if your opponent starts keying in on the china route a good change up to keep them guessing is once again in the red zone scissors play as you can create a lot of the same one play touchdowns i am going to show you in this video with this play as well only this time the running back is in a much more explosive down the field route that once again really beats any man or zone and has to be used to stop. Between these two routes, since one route breaks inside and the other breaks outside, you can give your opponent a difficult time if they decide to try to start using this running back themselves, since it's going to be difficult to try to figure out pre-snap which direction the running back is going. And the more they focus on the running back, the more likely it is that they lose track of the deeper routes, making the one-play touchdowns that much easier. These two plays can only be found in the same playbook together, though, in the Ravens and Commanders. Next up, I'm going to be going over the one-play touchdown setups that you can do from this play, starting with the cover zero and working my way back to cover four. Against cover zero, the B route starts with inside leverage and gets an easy inside release to get across the field with no adjustments needed. You will want to block either the tight end or the running back, though, as you will probably need more blockers since man zero blitz usually sends more than five. I find blocking the tight end works best as for some reason when you block the running back his defender a lot of times turns into a deep safety and the running back will get open for a quick check down if needed. 
but the tight end can also, so it's really up to you. The deep route does have inside release though, so it really just takes a few seconds for him to be able to run past the coverage corner, and you can get some very easy plays as long as you have enough speed from your receiver and enough time from your blockers. Against cover two, this play doesn't need any adjustments. This is a natural cover two one play touchdown because you already have a corner route which will pull apart the safeties. So if you're not good at adjustments, you could just run this play as is and just wait for the receiver to split the safeties. But to make this play even better, all you have to do is streak the tight end to pull the strong safety back and this route will get even more separation. Just wait once again until he gets inside the safety then bullet and pass lead up the field. This works the exact same way against cover two man as the receiver is close enough to the line of scrimmage to avoid being matched by the cornerback. You can see all the other wide receivers cornerbacks are directly in front of them and that is because cover two cornerbacks typically press or jam the receivers at the line of scrimmage trying not to give them inside or outside leverage on the route. This receiver in the formation is in far enough that the cornerback doesn't meet him at the line instead giving him a free release inside which allows this receiver to get ahead of the cornerback and across the field once again taking advantage of the split safeties for another easy one play touchdown because of how the safety reacts to the corner route. Against cover three, this play works once again with the exact same setup, but it will work best if you run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field, as most cover three one play touchdowns require a lot of space between the safety and the cornerback. But once again, all you have to do is streak the tight end, wait for the B route to cross the safety, bullet and pass lead away, as the corner route will once again hold the cornerback down outside. For this play though, you might want to block the running back for extra pass protection, as it does take a little bit longer for the receiver to get across the field. This play can also work against cover for match and regular with the same adjustments, making this a very easy play for anyone to use regardless of whether or not you're good at telling what coverage your opponent is in. If you're not getting reading a defense though and you would like to get better at it, I have a link in the description from a previous video I put out about that, as well as an on-screen pop-up at the end of the video, so just stick around to the end. Against cover for match, you will have to wait for the safety that is in quarters coverage to react to the streaking tight end coming into the area. Once he does this, he will leave this route completely wide open, making for a very easy and very glitchy looking one play touchdown. Now when it comes to the cover four regular, this is the only time the setup can change. If you have a big enough speed advantage like you might get from an elite receiver like a Tyreek Hill, you can run it the same way with no problem. But if you have a regular speed receiver, you will have to put the X or square route on a comeback route smart route him at about 10 yards and motion him in towards the line of scrimmage. This will help to keep the free safety down since the safeties in cover four are programmed to react to any route in the area that goes over 10 yards, pulling him down just enough to allow the crossing receiver to get over the top once again for a one play touchdown. Just bullet and pass him up once again to split the safeties. So that's it, that's the vid. If you guys want to see more from this offense or the Ravens in general, please be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I will have a link popping up on the screen of a full gameplay video that I put out using this offense. So if you want to check that out, just click the link on the screen. And other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.